I realised that you know culture vibe and, and, you know, and myself are very important in a lot of ways. Um, I'm, I'm very aware of that. You know, I mean, I still get letters from people. And, you know, you changed my life. And, you know, if it wasn't for you, you know, I would have committed suicide. I mean, I do actually get letters like that. Kids from Middle America, up north. You know, um, so, you know, I'm aware of it. You know, in America, I'm a drag queen icon. I go anywhere with a drag queen, and they say that to me. And that makes me feel really good, because I've always loved drag queens. I love transvestites. I'm obsessed by them. If I was straight, I'd definitely go out with them. <laughs> you see, in a way, you know, when I was in coach club, sexually I sat on the fence, you know. I didn't really say I was gay, but come on. You know, that would be really stupid to think I was straight. When I was making my second solo album, I got into Acid House. Right in the middle of making that album, I suddenly got into Acid House and it exploded. And I, I, I just completely didn't want to do the music I was doing anymore. I was like, I want to do this. <laughs> I kind of went, you know. And I think that's been a problem in my career that I'm very influenced by what's happening. And I'm more interested in that than anything, you know, being part of that and being excited about that. I kind of, I don't really know what I want to do from one day to the next. And that can be a good thing, but it's not good for a career. You know, people like Madonna, they've got a sound and they work it, you know, they bleed it dry. Well, I didn't want my own label. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a sort of thought out thing. I mean, I'm not that kind of person. I never sort of sit down and think, right, I must open a shop. You know, I must do a label. It was just accidental, accidental on purpose. Web companies seem to be happy to just kind of release that catalog of Genesis or whatever, and, you know, all the oldies, and, and just have cheap dance records. Um, what I'm trying to do is develop people, their personalities. My religious beliefs are very suspect. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know if I, I no, I mean, I, it's difficult to say what my religious beliefs are. Um, I just believe in uh, peace, love, and harmony. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I, I mean, I like Krishna. I'm into Buddhism. I'm just into ne learning. You know, I'm into learning. I'm into culture. I mean, that's why I call my band Culture Class. Because we had a Jew, a black man, an Anglo-Saxon, and a gay Irishman. My autobiography is called Take It Like a Man. It's a play on words. It's been interesting. I mean, there's been certain people that said, like, please don't say I'm gay, or don't say this about me, don't say that about me. And I've tried as much as I can to honour their wishes. I've been very brutal with myself. I said uh, what I was like and what I am like. I mean, I think I'm pretty open about what I'm like. I've always lived a pretty simple life. No, that's not true. When I was in culture club, you know, I mean, I was pretty excessive. There was a point, you know, where I got really ridiculous. So I had like, limousines waiting outside the hotel all night. <laughs> Fancy tip me to go somewhere. And, you know, I had like loads of people flying to America to see me and paying for their hotels and just being, you know, really wasteful. Drugs, drugs, drugs. <laughs> I look back at, you know, sort of drugs period of my life as a kind of movie that I was in. I mean, certainly if I hadn't experienced that, I wouldn't be as wise as I am today. So it was very valuable in that respect. I'm not saying everybody should go out and get wasted and get a great education. But for me, that was my path. Right now, at my kind of age in my career, I should be joining the old school, you know, kind of George Michael, Phil Collins, Eric Clapton. But I've studiously avoided that, you know, I don't want to be part of any... I don't really want to be part of the music industry, I don't want to become like a, you know, Cliff Richard or something like that. It's horrible. That's why I paint my toe now. <laughs> I don't feel like obliged to entertain people all the time. I do it for me. You know, people always say to me, do you look back at your costumes? I say, they weren't costumes. You know, not Gary Glitter. There are ways of looking cool without looking ridiculous. I'm working on it. <laughs>